right here on the WOTG Radio Network from Sweetwater, Tennessee. And folks, we're glad to be here tonight. And we're going to play some great Southern Gospel music and tell, uh, give you all the updates that we know that's going on around the country. We appreciate everyone that is tuned in to us tonight, regardless of wherever you may be. Hey, all you people out there on Facebook, how about hitting that share button tonight? Inviting all these people to come on and let's get in here and have a great time on the Alan Presley promotions tonight. Lady Presley, you got anything to say tonight? No, not right now. Huh? Not right now. She said not right now. But anyway, we're glad to be here. And folks, let's just get get on board and have a great time tonight. And and really share the program and get all excited. Get all excited and tell folks about Jesus. Out there on Facebook is a place up there on the top or right at the comments on the left. You can click on it and invite 15 or 20 people. I never have counted them, but you can invite several people. How about inviting them to come on and, and let's see how many shares we get. I know I one time we've been it was a few times we've been up over a hundred shires. One time I, I think record about 130, 140, could have been a few more. And folks, with that when we do that, we're sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're gonna get on board and play some great music. Friday night, we got a special guest coming in here. It's Mark Bird and his wife will be live on Alan Presley Promotions this Friday night. He is the bass singer for the Living Faith Quartet. We will have him as a guest on the program this coming Friday night. 
you will see an ad coming out on my page on Facebook. The ad's done put out there. And uh, we'll be sharing that a little bit more in other, in other places uh, as closer it gets to Friday night. And if you'd like to be a part of a program like this, we're reaching out and helping the children too. And we done already sent money to the children's home. Lady Presley got a nice letter from them. And she read that to us two times on the program. But we're also trying to reach around the world, sharing the gospel from across this nation. We hear from a lot of people in other countries too. And folks, we appreciate what you are doing to help us. Everybody that's on board even, that's given us a donation to help our program to keep going on, we like to say thank you. God bless you. Appreciate you helping us. Without you, we just couldn't do this. But with you, the Lord is making a way and because he's using you. Thank you for everything you do for Alan Presley Promotions. Here's my mailing address, Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's our address again, Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Let's get back to the program and hear Ricky Addison. Here we come in compassion. <laughs>
My old buddy Roger Horn coming up now. Hit that share button on their Facebook. There's a great celebration that is being planned today. There's a feeling of excitement in the air. Next group coming up uh, that we, is going to be singing, Melvin Clout of the Clout Indian family just lost his wife a few days ago. She'd been real sick. He'd been handicapped for about three years taking care of her. That was part of his ministry. But also during that time, he'd been on about a hundred, over a hundred different TV stations producing programs on the TV. He done a bunch of them this week because I have been talking to him. And uh, I've had his brother, Ken Cloud, of the Cloud Indian family on this program. And man, he talked for about 30 minutes and he held the attention of everybody as he talked to us. Man, everybody was on pins and needles listening to that guy talk. He probably, they probably one of the oldest group singers that's out there today. He'd been out there even when they wasn't even having singings in a Coliseum and things. They even sung on street corners. They well known all over the world, the Cloud Indian family. And I've had an awful lot of requests to play their songs on radio and on on uh, on on our TV and everything else. We got the Cloud Indian family coming up right now, and they're gonna be singing. Peace in the Valley.
him. I want not. He throws out to me a rope, and the name of the rope is love. And he draws me to where the grass is green, and the water is not dangerous, and I lie down satisfied. Now sometimes my heart is weak and falls down, but he lifts it up again and draws me into a good road. His name is Wonderful. Sometime, it may be very soon, and it may be longer, and it may be a long time, he will draw me to a place between those mountains. It is dark there, but I shall draw not back. I shall be afraid not, for it is between those mountains that the shepherd chief will meet me, and the hunger that I have felt in my heart through all this life will be satisfied. Now sometimes he makes this rope of love into a whip, but afterwards he gives me a staff to lean upon. He spreads a table before me with all kinds of good food. He puts his hand upon my head and all the tired is gone. My cup he fills till it runs over. What I tell is true, doubt not. These roads that are away ahead will stay with me through all this life. And then afterwards I will go to live in the big teepee and will sit down and rest with the shepherd sheep forever. Oh, 
His love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place.
Folks, I want to tell you something. The next group of singers is the Pains again, and last yourself. I need a miracle. Do you need a miracle? You've got one. Believe me, you've got a miracle. You look at yourself in a mirror and look at yourself even when you walk or when you do anything in life. That's a miracle. And, and, and there's miracles happening everywhere, every day. Even on this program, a great big miracle happened when Jimmy Putman found that kidney and got that kidney. God found it. God did it. And we give God the glory. We give him the praise. And it comes through Alan Presley Promotions and his helper and his team. And, folks, that is miracle. And you are a miracle. You look at yourself. Go look in the mirror. You're looking at a miracle that took place. Many miracles happened. And, and folks, we are a living miracle. I need a miracle. You got, you got one. <laughs>
from Northern Ireland, Elizabeth Lawson.
Coming up next is Cliff Atkins, and this is the son-in-law, the Conrad Cook. Conrad Cook wrote this song that he's going to sing. I think it's Hallelujah to the Lamb. Not only did Conrad Cook write that great song, he wrote that song that we all love to hear from a long time, went to the number one probably, and he wrote many other songs that went to number one. And he wrote that song, The Glory Road. And I'm sure most of us out there has heard The Glory Road. Conrad Cook wrote that. Clifford Atkins, he, he married Conrad's daughter. And they had their own group. Lady Presley, what's the name of the group that he had? You remember? Uh, you mean the old group? The, the, or the well, yeah, the old group. Conrad Cook and something. I can't remember the name anyway, but Clifford... I, I know it wasn't Conrad Cook and something. It yeah. was something else. But in, anyway, uh, uh, they sung together, him and his daughter, Conrad Cook's wife, and uh, we're going to hear uh, Clifford sing one of his songs that he wrote. He wrote many songs that a lot of groups took to number one. The Kingsman Quartet took several of them to number one. He wrote the old ship of Zion, Conrad Cook did. And one day, Clifford had been singing somewhere in Middle Tennessee, coming back up uh, around the Chattanooga, Tennessee. He he come in here as a surprise on a morning hour. I forgot what day it was, but it's during the morning hour. We cranked up the old, ca old uh, camera, and we had uh, put on a special program it wasn't even now, so it's going to come on, and we did it. And I shared that program on my Facebook pages today. And you look at the views on it, over 15 to 1,600 views that we had on that program. Alan. What, Lady Presley? Conrad Cook and uh, huh? Calvary Echoes. The Calvary Echoes, that's right, Lady Presley. Conrad Cook and the Calvary Echoes. And we're going to listen to Brother Clifford sing one of Conrad Cook's old classy songs, Hallelujah to the Lamb. Here we go.
And folks, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. We got much to pray about, a lot to pray about. People's in sickness, people's in trouble. But the biggest sin, the uh, sickness we got, and, and if you call it a sickness, I call it a sin, is that the people is away from God. A lot of people is away from God. Our world is in a, crit a critical condition, folks, because so many people are away from God. Come on, let's admit it, folks. Let's be honest. We need a revival behind the pulpits of America. Like Elton Wright says, revival must start in the pulpits when men of God must stand up and preach without fear of men. Preach it with boldness and preach it not be a coward and preach what thus saith the word of God. We need that in our world today. We need to get back to the old pathways of serving God and living for God. Revival must take place if this nation is going to come back to God. It must start within the pulpits of America. And folks, we need revival. People out there is lost without Jesus. People is not right with God. People, even the, those that profess to be a Christian, they profess, but they don't possess it. And folks, that is even more critical. It's more dangerous in God's sight. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for all the miracles that we see every day. God, many, many miracles. So many miracles, God, we can't even count them. And God, I thank you for that. God, it is your, it's a miracle that we even exist. It's a miracle that we even breathe. And God, I pray that our world will realize this. I pray that our world will realize the only hope for this nation is God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Help me, God. Help my partners, God, in this program. Give us grace. Give us strength that we may stand as a tiger and as a lion, even stand stronger than that, using the weapon, the Word of God. God, that's the strongest weapon they are, is the Word of God. And God, the reason a lot of people is not getting their prayers answered. They don't want them answered because they won't get into your word. If they get into your word and study the word, they'll see their prayers answered. Every one of them can be answered right in the your word of God. And God, I pray you'll bless every listener out there. Those that may be sick, those that are away from God, and those that need to be born again. God, I pray for them. Help them, God, that they will uh, realize that they need to be saved tonight. Right now, God, they need to be saved. America needs to come to you, God. The world needs to come to you. Our leaders need to come to you. It's the only hope. The military is not going to save this country. The military is not going to save it. No individual is going to save it. Our president of the United States won't save it. No other person in any other country is going to save it. The king of all kings is going to be the one that had to do it. But God, you're not going to force your way in upon them. They have to be willing to come to you and repent of their sins and ask you to come into her heart. I pray, God, if there's one individual that hears our voice, help them to come to you, help them to be saved. And God, that's the only reason we're here. Now, God, take this program, use it for your glory and your honor. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's get back on to our, uh, our program tonight. And here is a man that had a great big old miracle happen to him when he received this kidney. It's Jimmy Putman. Take a listen. <laughs> The old man has 
passed away. He's dead. He's dead. The old man is dead. He's gone. for some time We'll stop by and ask me Where I've been What's on my mind They wonder why I'm not drinking And still painting this old time And the old man's name. And the man you see before you may look a lot like the same. I want to tell you about this next person coming up. It's Murray Burke, and I see where she put out something over uh, Facebook today that I agree with, and I'm going to tell you why did I agree with it. She said playing gospel music and sharing the gospel on radio, some people didn't think it's no needful, but I, I agree with Murray. Anyway, let me tell you why I agree with what Murray Burke said. I can't remember all the things she said about this. 
She is 100% right. Back years ago, I knew of a preacher. I can't think of his name now. He, he, I, I knew him real good. In fact, I got a couple, a few books that he wrote, and he was the author of them. Right back here in my all of my books, I got several books back here that I've used over the years. I flew to a big meeting out by our plane. My church paid my way to go. They did that about every year. I went several years in a row. I heard this guy preach, and I never will forget what he preached. Now, it's several years ago. He said, preach the gospel by all means. Share it, preach it by all means. Let me tell you what those all means can mean. It can mean a church, but not only a church. It can mean a radio station. It can mean a TV station. It can, it can, be, uh, it can be a Facebook page. It can be the YouTube which we use. Preach the gospel by all means. Any way that God gives us an open door and a freedom to do to preach the gospel. That's why we do this program. We do it on Facebook. We do it on radio. We do it on the TV. And we do it on YouTube. And we would do it more if we had the means to do it with. Preach the gospel by all means. Even by your mouth. The words you say. That's the reason Alan Presley stresses every night for us to share the program and tell people about it. Because we're trying to spread the good news. Radio, TV, YouTube, all of that. And I thank Chuck Bryan for WOTG Radio and allowing us to do our program. That is a all means. We're never to ever sit down and say, God, it's yours, you do it. God expects you and me to do it. If I can find all means more to hook up to and to be on and to share the story of Jesus, I will do it. I'd like to say, Amen to Murray, Burke, and her husband, David, which we love. And here's Murray singing right now. Thank you. 
fives and CDs, and we going we you'll get one of uh, the Gospel Hearts. That will be six CDs plus two rings, plus two nice necklaces. And I they said something about a makeup kit for you women out there. I hope no men don't want to use it. Maybe they need to. Some of us might have such an ugly face. But anyway, you get you get all of this. Now, I'm going to do this tonight. And you need to do it tonight, too, if you would. You can give me a call at 423-271-6247. Six CDs, five different CDs of Lizzie G. out of Chicago, plus... A CD by Gospel Hearts makes a total of six CDs plus two rings, real nice rings, two nice necklaces, and a makeup kit. All of that for a donation. I'm not telling you what the donation needs to be, but this is for the children and sponsoring the children and helping raise children and take care of children. We are sponsoring a children's home. Make me a donation. Like I said, I'm not telling you what the donation would uh, be. You call Alan Presley, 423-271-6247. We'll put you on the our way. Give me a call. Make a donation, and you can receive all six CDs, plus two rings, plus two necklaces, and they said a makeup kit. And do that and make a small donation or make whatever donation you want to for the children. And you'll get all six CDs and the two rings and two necklaces. 423-271-6247. We have Paul's Journey coming up now. Take a listen. Hit that share button after our Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. 
like your horn. Like the prodigal son, I decided one day. What a song! I could make it alone. So I wandered away. Thank you, Brother Roger. Soon I found myself wondering if I'd ever find my way home. I remember the days in my soul. I remember the days when he made me whole. But have you known that I carry? Remember today? I hope so. If you don't make it, drive with God tonight. I knew I had to return to my father's embrace.
that cleanses within. right here on the WOTG Radio Network, Sweetwater, Tennessee. And folks, this next group coming up is Avenue Trio. Me and Lady Presley had the honor and privilege of being with these young boys Sunday week ago. And if you look on Alan Presley's page on Facebook, you will find a lot of their videos that we made of Avenue Trio. Here they are. To a land with never a night Oh yes, I'm going One of these mornings Where the robber's spotless white One of these mornings I'll be flying high One of these mornings I'm gonna say goodbye I'm going One of these mornings To a land with never a night Oh yes, I'm going One of these mornings Where the robber's spotless white One of these mornings I'll be Promotions right here on the WOTG radio network, and we are in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Folks, help us keep this program on the air, help us keep uh, supporting the children, help us keep adding on to our equipment. And folks, we are here for God. That's the only reason we're here for is to serve God and to honor God and live for God. And if you like being a part of a program like this and want to help us out, But first of all, I'd like to say this. I appreciate every person that's donating to our program, where it be money or where it be time or wherever you share the program, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you for those that do send us donations that we can stay on the air and keep playing this great Southern Gospel music. 
we like to say thank you from the bottom of our heart. And I know that God's going to bless you and honor you for that. And if you like being a part of a program like this that believes and reaching out to the whole world without favor of man and trying to serve God and to helping people rejoice in the love of God and trying to teach them the right way, you are at the right place. And if you like helping us stay on the air, you can send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611 Ohio Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. If you're traveling I-75 or in the area, come by pay us a visit. We would carry the honor. We'd count a great blessing if you did that. And well, I'm going to say my words here too. Uh, we love being here. We love doing what we do. And Lady Presley, you got anything to say? We just want to say that uh, we enjoyed everyone watching tonight. Do what now? Enjoyed everyone that watched tonight and uh, enjoyed the music that we played. And thank you, and God bless you. Like Lady Presley says, we appreciate all you people from the bottom of our heart, and we love every one of you. Thank you for helping us, and God bless you. Here is the Cumberland Thunder right now. Come confess to him 
fortune in construction for my dwelling. And the streets of gold will run by my front door. And all the eyes of the blind will then be open. And they'll join. Same time, same station for Alabama.